So I've collected the summons power. Now I need to go collect. Hold up, I don't know. I don't need to go that way, but <laughs> can you believe that? Now I need to go collect the uh, the stump power. I'm gonna see if I can glide all the way across this. I should be able to, right? Look at my stamina. Look at my stamina. Look at this stamina. I'm good. This is easy. This is easy peasy. <laughs> if you ain't, man. If you get a chance to play this game, man, do play it. It's beautiful. It's fun. The gameplay is fun. Oh, what? The ability that Blackbeard gave me is this. I can summon these little guys anytime I want to. Where I have to wait to wait for it to rebuild. And I can, oh, I can use these little guys. You know, if somebody was attacking me or something, I can use those little guys. But anyways, let's get to this. Lights up. William Shakespeare, humanity's greatest playwright and hell's most diabolical purveyor of entertainment looks on as a brave mortal on an Orphean quest enters. The bard's interest is piqued, and he looks to test his... <laughs> the masked tragedies were used to enemies cowering as they approached, but soon they realized that they faced a foe with courage and nobility. Traits uncommon in the fires of perdition. Hold up, I thought we were gonna be dancing, but it seems we are not. It seems we are not. Hold up, where did... Did he disappear from me? Can I hoax? Hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. He keeps doing that. He keeps doing that stuff. Why does he keep? You know what? I ain't got time for that. You know what? Look at this guy. Let's, oh, oh, I got a gun. Then. I got a gun. Yes, this. You want to shoot, huh? Since you want to shoot. The inciting incident resolved. The time had come. For rising action! Nothing. Oh, no, they flying now. They flying like this gonna help. You noob still can't kill me. <laughs> you noob still can't kill me. Let me get that health though. Let me get that health though. I I, I own these guys, noob. And as bullets and blood flew, the bard arched a curious eyebrow. Could this mortal be the exact thing that Shakespeare needed? God can't take this battle as far from over, mortal. Arise! And now, Act 3! Oh, I, I can't shoot him. He got some type of force field alone. <laughs> but he said that he said the Jabberwockers after me, the demon Jabberwockers. Just stop sending these little noobs after me. Hold up! Hold up. <laughs> oh, oh! Stop shooting me! Shoot him! Don't shoot me! Shoot him! <laughs> oh! Oh, he broke out. Was that my guy? Oh, that's another one. I got another one. <laughs> Man, now I'm loving this game. I wish I could use my hammer more, but... Yeah, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. What, out of... Where did I pick up a sniper? 
the conflict resolved. Shakespeare eagerly awaited meeting the champion that dispatched so many of his men. Undoubtedly, they were here for the Bard's aid. And while happy endings were not a thing found in hell, Shakespeare always had a soft spot for comedies. In the land of the living, William Shakespeare is regarded as one of the most prolific playwrights of all time. However, to the denizens of hell, the Bard is seen in a far different light. After selling his soul for fame and adoration, Shakespeare served in hell as Satan's spy master general. In doing his duty, Shakespeare would punish the souls he was investigating by forcing them to perform in grotesque passion plays for Satan's amusement. But in a Twelfth Night-esque twist, Shakespeare found himself living a double life. While he projected an image of cruelty, his heart was as soft as Jezebel's. In secret, he would tutor her on the classics and act out the works of his mortal days. When Satan found out, he cast Shakespeare out of the palace, believing that the poet would be tormented by the populace of hell, far out of Jezebel's sight. But Satan had not counted on the bard's cunning. Embracing his persona of master torturer, Shakespeare and his followers, the tragedies, took root in the entertainment district, biding their time for revenge. So Shakespeare called forth the deus ex machina to bestow our protagonist with the arcane power of horse stomp. The power, okay. You can now slam your foot into the ground to perform arcane stumps. Use the right on the D-pad to switch the stone. Repair your opponents away from you, which work great when near cliffs and ledges. Double tap to quick switch between stone elements or switch elements in the powers menu. Find and kill decks again and again. Make him pay for what he did to the saints in still water. Okay, okay. I... Let's just go to the stone material, the stone <laughs> tutorial. Lights up. The mortal stands in the training grounds, eager to try out his new force stomp power on the group of demons in front of them. Face me. Scene two, in which our protagonist kills more demons with force stomp. Act two, in which our protagonist is greeted by foul imps. Act three, in which our protagonist learns that force stomp even works on flying enemies, enabling them to remove a dark inside shield before shooting them to death with bullets. The day is won, and the curtain closes on our noble hero.